Fitness. Call this meeting of the Hammond City Council May the 21st, 2019 to order. Before we get started, we'll have a prayer by Councilman Wright, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. With the Jonah Queen, Heavenly Father, we're thankful again for this opportunity to come together and to address the needs and concerns of our citizens. And Father, as Americans, we I want to thank you for this great country that we live in. Thank you for those that serve and those who have served in the past, the military that protects our country. We're so thankful for those men and women who served and are willing to give their lives to keep us free. And may we remember and honor them on next Monday. Father, bless those who also serve in our local fire, police, and emergency forces and protect us inside our cities. May we never forget all of those who have known on before us. In Jesus' name mm -hmm. we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll, please. Here. Betty Holly. Here. Tim Johnson. Here. Kenny Mead. Here. Sam Russell. Here. Here. Clerk Warren. Motion to approve the minutes of the May 7th, 2019 meeting. Vote. Motion by Councilman Wright. I second it. Second by Councilman Johnson. Councilman Wright. No. Councilman Johnson. No, sir. Floor is open for discussion. Call the please. Daryl Cook? Yes. Betty Holly? Yes. Tim Johnson? Yes. Kenny Mead? Yes. Sam Russell? Yes. Lonnie Wright? Yes. Motion carries. Motion to pay the bills. Motion. Motion by Councilman Holly? Second. Second by Councilman Mead. Councilman Holly? Yes. Councilman Mead? No, sir. Floor is open for discussion. Call the roll. Daryl Cook? Yes. Betty Holly? Yes. Tim Johnson? Yes. Kenya Mead? Yes. Sam Russell? Yes. Tony Wright? Yes. Motion carries. This time we'll hear from delegation. If you'd like to address this council, please stand, state your name, and limit your comments to three minutes. Hi. I'm Pam Bay. I'm with the Run Alliance. Um, I just wanted to say that I'm delighted to be here. Um, I brought some information about um, and a proposal for um, your commitment to the Run Alliance for next fiscal year. Um, so I wanted to kind of run over a few things, uh, just some highlights. And I know you guys know, you know, part of the mission of the Run Alliance is to be a unified voice um, and, you know, to help pr promote job creation, economic development, enhance quality of life and education workforce development. Uh, the primary function is to oversee our partner organizations, and that's the Chamber, the Industrial Development Board, and the Visitors Bureau. Um, and one of those, prim the primary function of those organizations, which they share, is promoting Wayne County. Um, so marketing has to be one of our primary focuses in order to create economic impact for our citizens. Um, I know that tourism you know, has been uh, doing that for Rome County for quite some time. And here um, is a, a few <coughs> numbers. I know I've probably said these uh, before, but um, we won't have the, the most current numbers until about September of this year. But in 2017, according to the U.S. Travel Association, visitors spent $69.2 <coughs> million dollars in one county. Um, that was a $2.33 million increase from the previous year. Uh, we spend close to $100,000 between all the partners on marketing projects and campaigns alone. Um, and that's, if you looked at that, if you compared those two, that's a $700 to $1 uh, return on investment. Um, if you consider that all of that is from our marketing, and I would like to think it is. Um, some of the things we do for Harriman, personally, uh, just, just to help you guys, uh, we had 244 social media posts uh, that went out in 2018. Uh, just for Harriman and its businesses or attractions. Uh, the Chamber hosted or led 11 events, events here in Harriman, uh, like ribbon cuttings, uh, pop-up parties, and uh, that's nearly one a month. Uh, from the amount we spend on marketing, 20900 went towards events that directly impact Harriman, uh, the hotels and restaurants. And there's also indirect benefit from our marketing that we do. Uh, we split that among the three major cities. Um, because we know promoting the entire county has to help you guys as well. 
um, and that totaled $21,550. We also partner with economic development organizations and agencies um, around the state and uh, in the region, and they help us leverage our marketing money because they are <coughs> in that Rome County as well. And um, that uh, split between the cities is about $6,100. So, you know, if you total that number, it's almost $50,000 that we spent that we feel could benefit uh, Harriman directly. Um, out of all the things we do and that doesn't include the impressions from the social media post and our Google ads and all those things that we don't know about um, so I, I, if there are things we can do better uh, I certainly want to know and I want to work with you guys to do that or if there's some things we're not doing uh, that would help you more than what we are doing you know we're, we're open to, to any of that but I hope you will consider um, investing in the run lights again next year and um, just I think handouts will start with Charles if you can pass those around. That's just got that information that I just said. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Appreciate all you all do. Anybody else like to address council? Personally, you want to tell us about this? On behalf of the, uh, the manager and the staff at HUB, I would like to uh, formally invite you all to the uh, Tennessee 811 lunch and, uh, and presentation this June the 11th from 11 to 1. Uh, this is uh, sort of like the, the pop meeting that I have invited you all to before that Tennessee 811 puts on every year. Uh, this is just a smaller version, scaled down version. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of utilities uh, get together and, and have these uh, in, in their districts or areas uh, in order to try to get more local uh, people involved. And as you remember, um, I, I come in and, and talk to you about the, uh, the uh, surveys and had you all fill those out. Um, this is uh, going to kind of go along with that, except we're trying to, to get more information out there. Uh, we've never been able to actually host one of these before. We've not had the facilities to uh, accommodate, and, and now we're happy to have those. And we look forward to actually putting those to use and, and getting uh, more informative training uh, here locally. So, uh, again, that is uh, June the 11th from 11 to 1. There is a RSVP on here uh, in order to uh, get a good count on meals. So, uh, hope you all can make it. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else like to address council? If not, uh, Mr. Lang, the street department. Yeah. Yes, sir, I was at tennis last time. You made me come to mind, I reckon. Uh, we still got some dumping problems right on Basel. And now they've started dumping pretty heavy out here on Fisk Road where you went into the drag strip. We picked up a bunch there today. You see, we've, uh, on Turner Drive, that heavy garbage truck's been turning the road up. We sold it out, patched it back. Uh, Nancy Way and Lee Village, we put in a new tile, we got it, packs back. You see, we mulched the temperance building, no hospital, uh, put up the new signs on Wrong Street, fixed ditch on Russell, it's falling in, the road is falling in. There's a lot on Severe across from Rome, uh, from Triangle Park. We got it, Mo. People was complaining about it. I think the city might own it. But anyway, we got it, Mo. Fixed heat. Uh, there's a ditch on Bowser Road. I think Mayor got the call on it. We got it fixed. It's a ditch. I miss, uh, I, you know, her name there. We got it fixed. Seat Co on Crescent. We still got to saw it out, fix it. It's where the sewer line is. They check the sewer line. They say the sewer line's good. We'll dig it out and get it packed back. There's a St. Coast Old Hospital. I guess all the rain. We got it cut out and filled back in. Still got it patch yet. There's a St. Coast in front of Mr. Wright's house in the ditch line. We got it fixed. We got the medieval rocked. Uh, widened pretty good. And we're still mowing every day, trying to weed eat, 
brush is eating us up. You can see a little brush. I mean, if you miss a day, a brush, I mean, we're going to get behind. You know, no, there's no stopping that. So we're keeping up pretty good. Our two new trucks are in, or we got three new trucks, two of them's in, and one of them's getting lights put on it. And we'll be ready to, to get around and put it on. And then Barry's uh, truck, it tore up on him in Wattburg yesterday, so I had a record go get it. And uh, it's a fuel pump, but he's going to start it in the morning. He had to do a lot of welding on the <coughs> recreations uh, trailer hitch today. It took about all day to get it straightened out, but uh, that truck should be ready tomorrow evening, Barry. Thanks, sir. Anybody have anything for Mr. Langman? Is the did you say the brush dump is it cleared out? Oh okay. yeah, I'm, yeah. They done a great job too. They got all the logs and everything. It's been a good job. But it's adding back up again already. Well, we have got a few logs in there. I, I will. I will say one thing. Uh, uh, I had uh, Mr. Langley uh, company on the tour looking at uh, streets that we cut for one. Of them purpose or another and how we maintain them. But anyway, uh, we looked at, or I did, I looked at a lot of other things. And uh, this brush is a, is a nightmare and I didn't know he was in the logging business. I mean, there's some logs out there like you uh, think out in Washington or Oregon. Uh, you know, and I don't know uh, how other cities are handling it, but we really need to check in on that. Cause, uh, I, I don't see how they do all the work that uh, that I just noticed as I rode through the junk and cleaning up sites and uh, uh, they do a good job. I want to compliment them. Okay. Thank you, Councilman. And, and I know that as Councilman Wright has, I have, most of y'all have rode around and looked at the brush that we've been picking up and uh, the rule is in the city, if, if a contractor cuts it, they haul it. We don't haul it, uh, but nobody seems to get that message, so uh, we're going to look at different ways of addressing that uh, to make sure they understand that. I don't think we might pick it up if a limb fell in the yard and they set it out for us or something, but if they go into a complete cutout, it's, it's tough on us. Mayor, I wish the council would consider grass. I mean, grass is a big problem. They just mow it out in the streets and they clog your grains up. And then, uh, you know, they just put it on the side. You got to shovel it up, you know. I think that, you know, it's not too much to ask the bag. I mean, that there needs to be an ordinance or something. Mayor, I think. Mr. Holly cuts his, bags it, no problem. Just throw it's it in there. When you have to shovel it in the back of the I truck, it's a lot harder, you know, when that chipper truck. I know we're booked up on our workshop tonight, but uh, the issue he just raised, we need to have another one uh, and soon to address all of this because it's, it's, it's getting where uh, they're not going to be able to, they're not going to be able to handle it. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, <clears throat> we don't have old business on here, but I want to uh, add uh, one thing under old business before we go into new business. Uh, we've been talking about the uh, uh, the waste connection uh, garbage pickup that we've had. Uh, they've sent in the for the next three years the proposal. I think it is the same as what it's been. Uh, so we, uh, I would ask council uh, if you'd recommend a motion to. Go ahead and approve keeping the waste connection at the same rate that they are right now. I'll make a motion. Mr. Sure. Councilman. Motion by Councilman Wright, second by Councilman Holly. Councilman Wright. Councilman Holly. Well, they do a good job. They do a good job. Floor is open for discussion. This is the contract from last month that we pushed. Mm -hmm.
No other discussion. Call the request. Chair Cook? Yes. Betty Holly? Yes. Ken Johnson? Yes. Can you mean? Yes. Sam Russell? Yes. Right. Yes. Motion carries. <clears throat> We're going to new business. First time discussing possibly approved first reading of ordinance 0519-01. An ordinance to abandon a proposed road right of way known as Crescent Street. I think the C manager put this on here. Mr. Langley, have you looked at this road? Crescent Street. Chestnut. 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 Yeah, not Crescent. Yes, sir. I don't see any use city would have of it. comes off of Beach Street and goes straight up Chestnut. I think it's still, we have to have two readings on this? Or? Yes sir, there'll be two readings and it'll have to go before the Planning Commission for approval as well <coughs> prior to the next reading before Council. Okay. Motion to approve? Motion. Motion by Councilman Russell. Second. Second by Councilman Cook. Councilman Russell. No sir. Councilman Cook. No sir. Or is open for discussion. Was this just a request, a citizen request? Yeah, who, who, who? No, no. I think it, it goes, it butts in, goes into someone's yard and they're requesting it to be shut down so they can start maintaining it. I'm it's talking about buy it, Mayor. They what? We want to buy that part of the alley. But I think it butts up to their property. Yeah, they just want to add it to their they've property. They've been buying it. Yeah. Bigger than than us. Well, we had been. <laughs> so, so if we if we approve this motion tonight, the planning commission will have to okay it. That's correct. It'll go before planning commission, uh, and if they make any amendments or changes to it, then it'll have to come before city council with those amendments for a new first reading. Uh, however, that's unlikely. Uh, if it does get approved in planning commission, then it'll come before the next the second reading with no issue. Any other comments? Call the roll, please. Sarah Cook? Yes. Betty Holly? Yes. Tim Johnson? Yes. Kenny Me? Yes. Sam Russell? Yes. Right. Yes. Motion carries. <clears throat> Next on the agenda, discuss and possibly approve on first reading ordinance 0519-02, an ordinance amending the Harriman zoning ordinance by modifying and adding various sections in order to establish an overlay district for parts of the city as designed on the attached map which is to be also be adopted at, as an updated zoning map for the city of Harriman. This also has to go before Planning Commission. Yes sir Mr. Mayor this has already gone before Planning Commission and it was reset for the next meeting uh, so this will work the same way if, if we have the first reading here tonight. If the Planning Commission does not make any material changes to it, then it'll come before the second reading. However, this one's a little unique compared to the other one, as this one will also require a public hearing at some point. Can you just, in, in a real brief summary, tell kind of what this is? Yes, sir. This is a, a, the Covenant in West Hills area ran out a few years ago. And there's been some issues in that area uh, <clears throat> that goes against what the covenant had always been for the regulations for that area and many of the citizens in that area got together and they formed a committee and this is something the citizens in that area desperately want uh, and basically what this will do this will be very similar this overlay district will will mimic the historical overlay district in the cornstalk heights area so what will happen is in the future uh, anyone that wants to uh, do something there significant, uh, they'll have to get a, uh, a letter uh, saying that it meets those qualifications from, from the newly created uh, board that, that will exist that will be similar to the historical uh, Cornstalk Heights area. And so uh, what's happened is, is the things that Mr. Helms has written in here is all based off of stuff that the local residents there want. This is stuff that they've asked for. So this is something that will, will please that community and the folks that live there. So once we approve this, after it's approved and it goes before planning commission, then we will establish a board that will oversee this. Yes, it'll be just like, just the, it'll work the same way as the Cornstalk Heights. Uh, it, it'll be the same thing. It'll just be worded. Uh, you know, the, obviously the regulations will be a little different, the wording a little different, but it's the same concept as that. Yes, sir. 
Motion to approve. Motion. Motion by Councilman Russell. Second. Second. Second by Councilman Johnson. Councilman Russell. Um, I have nothing. Councilman Johnson. No, sir. Floor is open for discussion. Yeah, one of the reasons uh, Planning Commission pushed on, there's a lot, this is a this is a loaded document. I mean, there's a bunch of, so I'm just saying you might want to read it real good because there'll be questions come out of it because if you're grandfathered in, if you have, your house is grandfathered in, not the property owner. So if you're a property owner up there and you plan on building, this is going to be your new guidance and restriction along with regular code to the point where I guess whoever is talking about developing the bluff, they'd say they'd like to see them get a copy of this also since they're going to own quite a bit of the property. Uh, anyway, it's just, it's creating another board, another layer for building up there. So. <laughs> Plus I think the planner hasn't got a chance to review it good and the attorney had a chance to review it good. And so, also, is this something we're going to start doing, bringing stuff on our first reading before we go through? Doesn't seem like the right order, but anyway. Mr. Harris put this on me. Yeah. Any other discussion? Yes. Buddy Holly? Yes. Tim Johnson? Yes. Kenny Mead? Yes. Sam Russell? Yes. Ronnie Wright? Yes. Motion carries. This time we'll hear from Council. Councilman Mead? No, sir. Councilman Holly? No, sir. Councilman Wright? Um, uh, as I mentioned, uh, I did make a survey of the uh, places that we've cut and uh, took a look at the uh, way we were maintaining or lack of maintaining and they are going to be glad to get uh, again sometime in the near future. Thanks, sir. Councilman Russell. Yes, sir. Councilman Johnson. Well, I was uh, going to address the uh, city manager about how we lost that $50,000 grant for the temperance building. Do you want to do it now or just put it off later or do it in the workshop? But he's not here. Yeah, you so. to put it on because I don't. I don't know that anybody up here knows. Do you know anything about it, buddy? Mm. Yeah, we can just postpone it till Kevin's back. We did get the temperature. We did get accepted by the state and feds, so it's, uh, it's much easier to get a grant for it now. Okay. That's all I've got, Matt. Okay. Thanks, sir. I'll make sure that uh, we find out what happened to that grant. Councilman Cook. Uh, just one thing. I know when we was at uh, the meeting with the West Hills uh, group here a while back that you and I attended, uh, there was some question about using uh, inmates to do trash pickup through that area and stuff. Uh, been working on that and then we've got some training set up for city employees so hopefully we can move forward and that can help us with some trash pickup around around the city. That's all I have. Okay. <coughs> Thanks, sir. Thanks for setting that class there. Uh, I've only got a, I've got a couple things. The first thing, uh, back to Councilman Holly, you want to give us a brief update on the paper mill site as to where we stand right now? We're still trying to get it over to Dr. Foot. All the paperwork's done. EPA's ready for signatures. They just need to sit down with the owner of the paper mill, which he's ready to do any time. He said he fired him from California. But Dr. Foote's the other guy. He's got to be the you know, they got to notarize his signature. He can't get over it. And uh, I've had other doctors look for him. I've had the pharmacists look, try to get over of him, and uh, nobody can get over it. So we're going to keep trying. Got, got one more option. We'll see how that works. 
Sounds good. I'm, I'm excited about what's going to happen. And I think that council needs to, uh, that's another thing we need to be looking at uh, in, in the very near future, a workshop as to as to what our plans are uh, with that area uh, instead of waiting until we get the area and then start trying to plan it. I think we need to go ahead and start looking at what we're going to do with it. Uh, I know I talked to the city manager about what's available as far as grants for it and stuff, uh, which we can't apply for until we get it, but we need to know what direction we want to take when we start applying. Uh, as we all know, the grants are most of the time are 50 50 match, and uh, we want to start planning as to what we want to do. Well, Kitty's got a drone that he's going to go over the site and make a map, a bit of overhead map of the whole thing. And that'll help us a lot. We need to sit down, like you said, and plan what we want, where we want it. And how to Sounds great. Uh, Chief, will you tell us real quick what you got going on Saturday? Uh, yes, Saturday is the uh, drug awareness program at Harriman High School from 4 to 7. We'll have some uh, stuff set up outside in the parking lot from 4 to about 4.45, 4.30, 4.45. Our new dog is coming from North Carolina to be there. And then uh, <clears throat> we have guest speakers set up. Will West confirmed the other day that he will be there for the whole program. So, you know, it's, it's hopefully it'll be a good turnout. What's the, what's the program? What do you mean? This drug awareness is what you're... It, it's a program set up for anybody that feels like they need help with a drug problem or anybody that has family members or friends that they want to try to get help for. There's going to be several booths set up from the Anti-Drug Coalition, Ridgeview, Suicide Hotline Prevention, uh, different people for them to talk to. The chaplains will have a booth set up if somebody wants to speak, talk to a chaplain. But it's just a program to try to enlighten people on how drugs are affecting our community and what help is out there for them that they can get. Okay. Thank you, sir. That's all I have. Anything else need to come before this council? Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor, aye. Aye. Any opposed like time? Anybody know or does he just he don't show up? Uh, and the reason I ask that because if he misses, I'll get 30 phone calls. Where's city manager? He working today? What's going on? Why is he not there? Who's done? And guys, I don't know. I mean, and that's what I want to know. Uh, does the mayor need to know if the city manager's out? Uh, does he answer to the whole board as, as a whole? I know that's who he works for. Uh, but I want some clarification as to what we expect. Uh, if uh, if he's going to be out of town, if he's going on vacation, uh, does he does he notify all of us? Uh, you know, when he's sick, I, I don't know that it's that he needs to, to sit down and write out a, an email and tell everybody, hey, I'm sick today. I went to him. Uh, I think that he could send a text. If he sends it to me, I usually forward it to you all if I get one. Uh, but I think that we're just, we're, I don't know what's going on, but I, I wanted to hear you all speak back as far as what you all thought. Uh, so a lot of this back and forth uh, will cut down and, and I kind of understand uh, what you expect. Uh, he kind of understands what you expect. I think another problem is, is a lot of times we don't go and sit down and talk one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. And if we do, uh, there's nothing to say that we did, except for you said you did, he said he did, and this and that. But I just want some clarification as to what you all think. I think it should send out an email, to, just an email out to everyone saying he's not really in the office that day. Because I don't never know. Like I'll, I'll have people call me and say, why ain't city manager in office today? And I'll say, I don't know. 